everything from autocomplete to live previews. Stay tuned to find out more about these amazing extensions. Live Server is a local development server that lets you see your changes in real time without having to constantly refresh your browser. As a web developer, you know that constantly refreshing your browser can be a real pain, especially when you're working on a big project. With Live Server, you can focus on your code and see your changes in real time without any interruptions. I remember when I first started using Live Server, it was a game changer for me. I used to waste so much time refreshing my browser, and Live Server just made my life so much easier. Now, let's talk about how to install Live Server. It's super simple, just open up VS Code, go to the Extensions tab and search for Live Server. Once you find it, click Install, and you're good to go. So, how to use this extension? Once you've installed the extension, open up an HTML file and click on the Go Live button in the bottom right-hand corner of your VS Code window. This will launch a local development server and your default browser will automatically open up with your HTML file loaded. You can now modify your HTML and CSS files and view the changes in real time without any interruptions. It's really that simple. I love how easy it is to use Live Server. It's made my workflow so much smoother and more efficient. I highly recommend giving it a try. CSS Peek, it's an extension for Visual Studio Code that allows you to easily peek into CSS definitions within your HTML code. It's a time-saving tool that can really streamline your workflow. Installing CSS Peek is easy. Simply search for CSS Peek in the Extensions tab, just like we did previously for Live Server, and hit the Install button. Once you've installed CSS Peak, you can start using it right away. Now you can hold control and hover upon the ID or CSS class within your HTML code and you can see the CSS code related to them without searching or moving between multiple CSS files. Another great feature of CSS Peak is inline CSS edit. You can right click on a class and then click on Peak, then Peak definition. You can also use the Alt plus F12 shortcut for this. This open a peak definition window inside the HTML code. Now you can directly edit the CSS code inline. This can save you tons of time and make your coding more efficient. Have you ever spent hours trying to clean up your code and make it look neat? It's time consuming and can be frustrating. That's where Prettier VS Code extension comes in. Installing Prettier VS Code extension is easy. You just need to open the VS Code extension marketplace, search for Prettier, and install it. Once you've installed the extension, all you need to do is right-click on the CSS or HTML code that you want to format, and select Format Document. The first time you do this, you might see a message pop up. Don't panic. Just click on the Configure button and choose the Prettier Code Formatter option from the list and voila! Your messy code is now instantly prettified. If you find it a hassle to right-click and then click on Format Document every time you want to format your code, here's a quick tip. Simply click on the gear icon and select Settings. In the Settings Editor, type Format in the search bar and make sure to tick the Format on Save option. This way, every time you save the file, your code will be automatically formatted without any extra clicks. I remember when I first discovered Prettier, it was a game changer for my coding workflow. It was such a relief to not have to worry about that aspect of coding anymore, and it gave me more time to focus on the actual logic of my programs. It's become an essential part of my toolkit. HTML CSS support is a powerful extension for Visual Studio Code that provides CSS IntelliSense for HTML, can greatly enhance your coding experience. HTML CSS support is really simple to install. All you have to do is go to the extensions marketplace, search for HTML CSS support, and install it. Once installed, you're ready to start coding with enhanced HTML and CSS support. Adding a new class to an element using HTML CSS support is super easy. To get started, simply press Ctrl plus space and you'll see a list of class attribute suggestions available in the linked or embedded style sheets. You can also type to filter the suggestions. 
Give it a try and see how easy it is. Another cool feature of this extension is, if you're working on your CSS and happen to add new classes, or even edit your CSS file directly in VS Code using the CSS Peak extension that I mentioned before, you'll be pleased to know that this extension will automatically update the class attribute suggestions for you. All you have to do is hit Ctrl plus space and boom! You'll see all your new classes ready and waiting for you. This handy feature can save you time and hassle, as you don't have to manually update your suggestions every time you make a change to your CSS. So give it a try and see how it can benefit your workflow. Before we move on, I just want to check in and make sure you're all following along. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. CSS Grid Snippets is a tool that helps you write CSS grid code faster and more efficiently by providing you with a library of pre-written snippets. With just a few keystrokes, you can insert complex CSS grid layouts into your code without having to manually write out each line. To get started with this, it's important to have a good understanding of the pre-written code snippets and the CSS they generate. Luckily, you can find a complete list of these snippets in the extensions documentation, which is super helpful. So let's take a look at some of the most commonly used snippets. By typing DG and then hitting the tab key, you can easily insert display grid into your code. Next, by typing DIG and then hitting the tab key, we'll insert display inline grid. By typing GTC and then hitting the tab key, we'll insert grid template columns. Quick tip. You can now also type GTC and then the size of the grid tracks together like this. Once you hit the tab key, it will expand it to exact same code as above. This can be a huge time saver when working on web design projects that require a grid layout. Before diving into this extension, let's take a quick peek at this CSS file. Have you noticed anything peculiar? Despite our code having multiple colors, none of them are being highlighted or easily identifiable. It'd be a great if we could effortlessly see color directly in the code editor without any unnecessary clicks. That's where Color Highlight VS Code extension comes in. So, what is Color Highlight? Simply put, it's an extension that allows you to see color codes right in your code editor. This makes it so much easier to work with colors and ensures that you're using the right color code every time. Go to the Extensions tab and search for Color Highlight. Click on the first option and hit Install. Once it's finished installing, you'll need to reload your editor for the changes to take effect. In my case, I just need to enable it again. Let's take a look at the same CSS file we were just working with. With the Color Highlight VS Code extension, you can now easily see the difference in the code. However, we've run into a small hiccup. You may have noticed an extra color square appearing at the start. No worries, though, this can be quickly fixed by opening up the settings editor and typing in color decorators in the search bar. Once you've disabled the color decorators, you can return to the CSS file and enjoy a much cleaner and clearer view of your code. Want to change the way the highlight looks? No problem. Just open up the settings editor again, type in marker type in the search bar, and experiment with different options until you find one that suits your style. Personally, I like the background value. It's amazing how such a straightforward tool can drastically enhance your coding experience. Color Highlight extension makes it so much easier to quickly identify which color code you're working with and ensures that you're using the right color every time. I highly recommend giving it a try. If you're someone who spends a lot of time coding, then you know that comments are an essential part of your workflow. But, have you ever felt that your comments are hard to read or that they don't stand out enough? Well, that's where the Better Comments extension comes in. Let's take a closer look at what this extension is, how to install it, and how to use it to enhance your coding workflow. So, what exactly is Better Comments? Essentially, it's a VS Code extension that enhances your comments by adding different colors and styles to your code. This makes your comments stand out more and makes it easier for you and your team to read and understand your code. The installation process is simple and straightforward. All you need to do is open up the VS Code Extensions Marketplace and search for Better Comments. Once you find the extension, click on the Install button and wait for it to download and install. Once the installation is complete, 
you might need to restart VS Code for the extension to take effect. With better comments installed, let's take a look at how to use it. To add a better comment, simply type in one of the supported comment types such as to do followed by a colon. Better comments will automatically apply the appropriate formatting and color to your comment. Here are other examples of how comments are styled using the annotation tags. I sincerely appreciate you watching this video. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning about some new extensions that will enhance your HTML and CSS development. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know which extension you're most excited about trying out in the comments as well. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.